Le terapie per il tumore alla postata si sono evolute negli ultimi anni e noi abbiamo parlato di questo argomento con la professoressa Cora Stenberg dell'azienda ospedaliera San Camillo Fornanini di Roma in occasione di un congresso a Viterbo e a Laiz in Prostate Cancer in cui la professoressa ha presentato una brillante relazione sull'evoluzione nel trattamento del tumore alla prostata resistente alla castrazione. Professor, uh, there are new drugs available in this period that prolong survival. What kind of drug uh, we are talking about uh, and what are the main characteristics of this drug? Yes, um, in the recent years there has been a, a major, uh, almost a revolution with the approval of several new agents that not only prolong survival but also improve quality of life in men with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer men who have already failed hormonal therapy in the past we only had uh, one chemotherapy for these patients docetaxel chemotherapy and that was, has been used since 2004 but we've now approved five new drugs with different mechanisms of action um, two of them are have new novel hormonal mechanisms of action one is called abiraterone acetate that was the first to be approved and the second was called enzalutamide these drugs were first studied in patients after docetaxel chemotherapy and they improved survival and since patients did so well on these drugs we, be, we also studied these same drugs uh, pre-chemotherapy with docetaxel so both abiraterone acetate and enzalutamide have been shown to improve survival in the pre and post docetaxel space other new drugs available are cabazitaxel chemotherapy to, that has been uh, shown to improve survival after after docetaxel chemotherapy and we also have uh, a radium 223 which is a, um, a radio pharmaceutical um, on, on the periodic chart uh, near to uh, calcium an alpha emitter with a very short um, uh, range uh, of emission so um, it, that too has been shown to improve survival, uh, survival and quality of life. And there's also some new immunotherapies which are not really available yet at this time in Italy. We've learned a lot about cross resistance among the agents and we need to understand what is the best sequence in which to give these, these different agents. Another point is that, that uh, there is uh, um, a need for personalized medicine. Um, what is your uh, thought about this, uh, um, this thing? There is absolutely a need to uh, personalize the treatments that we give to our patients. Uh, all of the studies that I've spoken to you about so far, we gave the same drugs to all the patients with castration-resistant prostate cancer. But we've now learned from recent studies in which um, biopsies have been done in patients who have received, have received some of the novel therapies. And as, as you biopsy patients uh, further along in their story, there is a clonal evolution and the, the tumor changes. So what we need are more uh, biopsies done uh, on the bone, on the lymph nodes, on metastatic disease, because we know that more than 90% of metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer uh, have uh, mutations, and, the, and these mutations are often uh, mutations that we can drug. So if we give the right drug to the patient based on their mutation, we can get much better results than we have in the past, giving the, just the same drug to everyone, um, d'emblée, without really um, studying their, their histology better.